Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my everyday makeup basket and shot my stash for May of 2021. Like the end of every month, my basket is a mess. I've had some new products come in, specifically from the Sephora sale that just happened. Um, so I'm excited to clean everything up, pick out some new products, and get this all nice and organized again. Starting up on the top, I've got my two setting sprays. You know, this I don't like the Charlotte Tilbury one, but it's lasting a long time, so it's just gonna stay until I finish it. I just got this Pat McGrath palette during the the sale and I really want to bring it into my basket so we're going to move that into the uh, probably the third drawer once we get down there um, and then I got this little free sample of a Lancome foundation I want to move into the first drawer as well along with these two new mini Natasha Denona palettes as well so we're all going to move those into the drawers over here I think we're going to take away the elf gloss put that back into my collection i still haven't really used this rare beauty lipstick so i'm gonna leave that one and the melt i'm also gonna move back the oh honey lip gloss put that back into my drawer finally i think it's time to get rid of the kush mascara i believe it's been three months so that's gonna get put into an empties video i do have this aoa studio mascara and i've been using it since my full face of shot miss a i'll put it up in the cards if you missed it but to be frankly honest, I didn't really like it. Um, so I'm gonna use it a little bit longer, but I'm probably gonna pull out another mascara during the shot my stash. I have another gloss here. I'm gonna move that back to my gloss drawer. Um, on the other hand, uh, this liquid liner, it's a uh, pen liner from Shop Masse. It's actually really, really nice. So I'm gonna keep this over here. I'm gonna move back the NYX liner, the NYX Jumbo Eye, uh, Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Um, I'm gonna move back this Glamnetic liner. I also did do a Glamnetic full brand review. I'll put it up in the cards if you missed it. Um, and I'm gonna move in these liners that I picked out last month and just put them back into my liner drawer because I finally picked up a whole bunch of new NYX liners. These are all the same um, type of liner. These are the NYX Epic Wear liner sticks. And I have a light purple, a dark purple, a green, a yellow, and a white. So I'm gonna keep all of those here because I really wanna just play with them and experiment um this is another shot miss a liner i do like it but i do like this pen liner more so i'm gonna keep the pen liner uh, i'm gonna keep the charlotte tilbury mini because i've only used it a couple times and i want to test it out a little bit more and this brand new okay can i get you out this is a brand new lipstick this is from dior it's a black lipstick that i'm going to be testing for my next black lipstick video and I'm gonna keep that because I literally just got it I think I've worn it in one video so far and I want to keep testing it so I'm gonna keep that up here uh, and I think we're good up here I got my chapstick I got my eyelash curler I've got some samples back here I want to use as well and then my um, headphones so let's get into drawer number one all right and as usual drawer number one is a mess <laughs> so Let's see, I want to keep, oh no, okay. So I used the Rimmel Stay Matte that I had in here and I finally used up enough of it that like I hit pan and it fell apart. So I repressed it, but I repressed it on top of a new Stay Matte powder so it wouldn't be as messy. Um, so I have that and to be honest, I kind of want to use another powder because I've been using this one for a long time. So I'm gonna swap that out. Um, I think I'll keep the Shop Miss A one in because that's the other one I pulled out to use. Speaking of Shop Miss A, I'm going to move out these two foundations because I've used them a decent amount and I do enjoy both of them, but I have some new ones I'm excited to test out. Also, I did use a lot of this tinted hydrator from Wet n Wild. I really like this. This actually reminds me a good amount of the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. So there might be a dupe video coming out, we'll see. All right, so some new things. I did finally pick up the new concealers from The Ordinary. I have two shades in there, um, so I'm testing those out. I think I'm finally gonna move out Dermacol. I've had Dermacol in my basket for months now, and I think it's time to swap it out and try some other stuff. Um, I'm also gonna swap out this uh, e.l.f. Cam hydrating Camo CC Cream or CC Concealer, is that what it's called? Because I've used that a, a good amount. Um, I got the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops and I've used it a couple of times. I'm pretty impressed so far, but I do want to continue testing it, so I'm going to keep those in there. I'm also going to swap out this color corrector from Charlotte Tilbury because I feel like I've just been using it a decent amount and I want to switch things up a bit. I'm going to pull out the Hollywood Flawless Filter because, again, I want to try some new things as well as the Profusion Face Palette. 
All right, so I'm also gonna have to pull this out and wipe it down because it is a little messy. But that's everything we're keeping in drawer number one. Drawer number two. So we got a lot of products in here and I do wanna move out a decent amount of them. I'm gonna take out the Shop Masse uh, lash glue. It's really good lash glue, but to be honest, I've been liking just the magnetic lashes. Um, let's take these cream blushes, swap them out. Along with these AOA Studio baked blushes. Baked highlighters. Uh, this is a velour highlighter. And then a pair of lashes, because I feel like uh, I'm gonna try out the brand new ones I got from Glamnetic for a bit longer. I'm gonna keep these in. I finally picked up some of the Rare Beauty liquid blushes, so I wanna have those too. I've got my uh, brow pomade, which isn't really a pomade, it's a cream shadow, but I use it as such. I think um, I finally used this enough to give a full review on it. This is the Natasha Denona Circo Local palette. And I want to film one more video with it. I think I want to do a um, palette bingo, not palette bingo, a palette roulette. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So I'm going to do that and then film my full review. So I'm going to move that just to the top of my basket so I remember to schedule time to film just those last videos. And let's see, let's put the Leela in first first and I want to see if this one fits there we go so that fits on top and I think that's it for here so that is drawer number two in drawer number three we have a couple of other eyeshadow palettes that I pulled out to use I'm just going to move all these back into my collection because we have plenty of newer ones to use including the two little minis that I wanted to test out I'll put them over there in the corner I actually could probably move the Pat McGrath down there too, just to make it a little more organized. There we go. That fits. Okay, and then I think we're good there. Down in our final drawer, we just have the two loose powders that I've been using. I'm almost done with the Tatcha. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan. I don't know if I'm just gonna include it in an empties video because I need to do an empties video. I've got a lot of empties. Or if I wanna do a review roundup with it. So I'm just gonna keep using it. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna switch over to the Laura Mercier. So I think we're good down here. All right, so that's everything I'm taking out of my basket. I'm gonna go ahead and put all this makeup back into my collection and then we'll be back to shop my stash. All right, so we were over here in my collection. I reorganized a couple of the drawers here because honestly, like I'm running out of room. <laughs> I have a couple of drawers that are like lashes that I've gotten new lashes and they're just full. So I had to expand to another drawer. I decided to put my nail polishes up here because this was just kind of empty. It was, it was weird and I cannot wait to get another set of actual Alex drawers, which is what I really wanted to do, but they've been sold out for like months uh, from Ikea. I did notice that they're back in stock at my local Ikea, so um, in like a couple of weeks, once I can get a day off of work, because trying to go to Ikea on the weekend here in Jersey, it's like, it's hell. <laughs> There's just so many people, it's impossible to get what you need. So the best time to do it is like during a weekday, if you can shake it. Um, and Alvin is off most Fridays, so I'm probably going to take a Friday off and we'll go to Ikea and get the set of drawers along with a few other things. So that's a long-winded way of saying that I reorganized a couple of things in here, but I'm really hoping I can get just another set of drawers so that this is... It'll save counter space like on the top and then it'll just be better <laughs> anyway. So um, this didn't change. I've got my tape for swatches. I've got some lip balms and lip liners up here. These two drawers are now all of my Hollow Taco nail polishes. And that's also a lie. It's not all of my nail polishes because I do have a couple over in the other box. <laughs> Moving on down, I've got my face razors and hair shears here. These are all of my eyeliners, but to be honest, we have five eyeliners and a liquid eyeliner up in my basket already, so I think we are good here. This is another example of I just need more room for these. I either need to go in and declutter or get more room, and honestly, I think both needs to happen. So Over here, I've got green lipsticks. I've got lip glosses. We did a lot of glosses last month, so I don't think I'm going to do any glosses now. Um, these are single shadows, which is spillover from this single shadow drawer. Um, do I want to get a single shadow? No, I think I'm alright with single shadows for now. Okay. Um, we've got red lipsticks over here. Uh, do I want? No. Uh, I think I'm okay with red lipsticks for now, so that's good. These are both... Oh, let's see. It's stuffed. These are both lashes. Um, and I've got some lashes, the new lashes from Glamnetic that they sent me in PR, so I think I'm good there. Um, we've got black lipsticks over here. Do I want a black lipstick? 
that actually could be fun to film with. Uh, okay, let me go pick one. I decided to go with a liquid uh, lipstick. So this is the Black Moon Cosmetics Black Lipstick in the shade Sleepwalker. Down here we have nude lipsticks, which I have that Charlotte Tilbury, and I've got the other two that would fall into like this category of like nude adjacent lipsticks. So I think we're good on lipsticks. So let's go ahead and switch over to the actual Alex drawers. All right, so drawer number one, we're gonna need to pick a concealer and a primer. So what primer do I feel like pulling out? Hmm. I'll pull this under eye salmon color corrector from Shot Miss A. And for actual primer, Hmm. Don't think I've really used this one yet. So this is a blurring primer from Shop Miss A. Let's do that one. Then I think we're good here. So let me pull out the concealers and actually pick some. All right, so since I have some new concealers I'm trying out, I kind of want to bring in some old favorites to compare them against. So these are two of my favorite concealers of all time, not to mention like favorite affordable concealers. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser and the Maybelline Superstay Concealer. And with that, I think we're good for drawer number one. All right, so down here, we've got foundations. Uh, I already have a pressed powder, so I think we're good there. Same for loose powder. We also have some loose powder already picked out. So let's see, what? foundations do I want to pull because I don't have any foundation in there now okay hmm so it's getting warmer what am I going to lean towards let's oh let's try this glow one from Milani it's a hydrating skin tint don't think I've tried that one yet <laughs> oh this would be a good time to bring out the Maybelline oh not Maybelline oh excuse me the Estee Lauder double wear foundation because this is really really good when it's hot out and I get sweaty so let's do those two should we do one more so I've got a full coverage I've got a CC cream hmm For the middle of the road, let's do this MAC. This is just the MAC, um, what are you? I think it's just the Studio Fix Fluid. Yeah, and it's a shade NW13. Okay, so we are good for the powders. For bronzers, hmm. I think since I did a face palette last week, not last week, last month, I think I'm going to do individual products for this month. Um, so let's see. You know what? I want to bring out this ABH one because I saw that they released um, some pressed powders. And to be honest, I don't know how I really feel about this bronzer. So I'm going to bring this one out to test. And I think... Should I bring in the new Kylie one that I got? Because I, I picked this up because it was on sale at Ulta and I've never used it. So yeah, let me pull this one in the test out. And we are good for drawer number three. Drawer number two. Oh, Jesus, I can't count. This is drawer number three. <laughs> All right. So I really want to do some different blushes. Hmm. You know what? I just thought of a face palette I want to bring out. Because I'm thinking, I've got that purple blush from, from Rare Beauty. And I kind of want to use a purple powder blush but the only purple powder blush that I have is the Franken one I created using the blood sugar palette so I think I'm actually going to pull that out to use the blushes and then we'll just pick out some highlighters yeah let's do that okay so for highlight what am I feeling for highlight this month I want to bring in this Annette 69 and Beauty Creations highlight because I think it'd be like a nice glowy early summer kind of highlight and then, you know what, this highlight I had in my collection, I decluttered, I pulled it out of the declutter pile to put back in, and I just reached for it the other day, and it's actually really pretty, and I kind of want to use it more. So this is a loose highlight from Kylie, and I'm going to bring it in for this month. So I think that's it for highlighters. All 
All right, so we're going into the face palette drawer so I could pull out my Franken palette. I really want to use the purple blush and then get some use out of the other blushes as well. So we'll pull this in. And then I really don't think I need any other face palettes. Okay, so I'm opening up my last kind of messy miscellaneous drawer where I keep backups and packaging and extra storage thingies that I don't use actually. I just realized I could probably use the storage container somewhere. So I'm gonna pull this out. Um, but that's not germane to this video. What is, is I'm trying to decide whether I want to bring out, I'm trying to decide whether I want to bring out my old favorite, the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, or to try a new mascara. Because I've tried a couple of new mascaras and to be honest, I'm just not feeling it. They're not really wowing me. So I don't know if I want to go in and try a new mascara or just go back to an old favorite. And you know what? Hearing it out loud, I think I'm just going to go back to my old favorite, the Essence Lash Princess, um, to at least set another baseline for me. And then I'll come back and I'll test out the new Physicians Formula one. So I'm going to pull in the Lash Princess. And with that, let us switch over to eyeshadow palettes. Welcome back to the eyeshadow palette bookshelf. Um, I did do a little bit of organizing because you can see I've got these baskets down here and I'm trying to do them by like category. Like these are luxury, higher end expensive palettes. These are my most affordable palettes. Um, the rest of the shelves are still pretty messy and I'm not like super happy with everything. I think I need to pick up a couple more baskets. Um, and then I'm also waiting until, like I said, I get another set of Alex drawers because I would love to have like a little bit of separation, maybe pick um, a category of palettes and put them in a drawer just to free up a little bit more space here, or maybe even get a bigger bookshelf, who knows. <laughs> but for now, um, this is what we're working with. Since we already have so many palettes in my basket already, and I'm also, you know, fingers crossed, I'm supposed to be getting my Shroud Cosmetics and Butte Bean palette, the It's Frickin' Bats palette. I'm supposed to be getting that like in the next week or two. So I'm really hoping that comes in and I'm gonna immediately start using it and do a video on it. So I really only wanna bring in one other palette. And I think that other palette is going to be the Midas Cosmetics Flower Bomb. It's spring, I could use some nice colors, and I think this is gonna accent the palettes that I have in my basket very nicely. This is what she looks like. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna bring this into my basket for May. So that's it for the Shop My Stash portion. Let me go ahead and organize all of this into my basket and I will be back for the final reveal. All right, so we are back into my basket. Um, everything up here pretty much stayed the same. I just added my Essence Lash Princess Mascara back here. Um, and our black lipstick right here. And I think that's it. And then we've got the Circle Local palette up there. So I remember to film with it. Let's get into the first drawer. All right, in drawer number one, we have all of our, uh, I should move the concealers to be next to the other concealers. We have our concealers, the color corrector, the foundation, along with a little sample that I wanna use. And then a little bit further back, we've got the primer and the pressed powder. In drawer number two, we have the Lila palette, we have our ABH bronzer, our Kylie bronzer, our highlights, our liquid blushes, the Glamnetic lashes, and then our loose highlighter over there. In drawer number three, we have our eyeshadow palettes. We have the Flower Balm, the Pat McGrath, and the two Natasha Denona minis. And then down here, we have my custom uh, face palette with the blushes. Last but not least, nothing else changed down here. I did just remember that I had another little mini magnifying mirror, um, so I brought that back up in here. And that's it. So that's everything I'm gonna be using in May. Let me know down below what you guys are gonna be using in May, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.